Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're in for a real treat. We're going to meet Candy. Hi Candy. Hi Bob. Welcome to the channel. Well, thank you. Glad to be here. And you are in a very nice older Dodge uh, van and you've traveled a long ways to get here. Yes, I have. So where are you from and how did you end up living in your van? I'm from upstate New York, the Finger Lakes area, a little town called Bath. And uh, I'm here because of watching your videos <laughs> and listening to all the other women my age, some older, some younger, say, just do it. If you have any inkling that you'd like to do this, do it, try it. I'm not full time. This is my very first time and I left New York on January 5th. And um, I still have a home. I own a home in New York. I don't know if I'll do it full time, but I'm going to do it probably at least eight months out of the year, if not more. Well, your life will be so much better, you know, if, by, if, no matter how much you do it. And, uh, and finding that balance of having a home base and traveling right. as a nomad, for a lot of people, that's just perfect. It will be for me because I still have uh, young grandchildren. Right. So I'd like to be near them in the summer when they're out of school and I can see them more. Right. Was this one of your first trips really kind of out on your own? My very first. Very first. Very first. Yes, I've never done gone on a big trip by myself before, ever. <laughs> so was that kind of uh, scary to you? When I left home, it was. Yeah. I'm like for about two weeks or more, I, I wasn't sleeping well at night. <laughs> like, what am I doing? Right, right. <laughs> but it's, after a couple days, I was like, what was I so worried about? It's just one day at a time, right. one destination at a time. Right. And it was just wonderful. Well, would you mind if we took a quick look around your rig and saw how I'd you set it up? I'd love to have you look at it. Let's do that. Yes, okay, great. Let's go take a look, folks. My van is a 1997 Dodge Ram 2500. I bought it off, I think I found it on Craigslist and uh, had to drive down to around Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to pick it up. Yeah, I, and I love her. I named her Ruby Rose <laughs> Van Bryson because my last name's Bryson. <laughs> Ruby Rose Van Bryson. She got me all the way here. I love her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's going to take you on a lot of adventurous fun. I and hope fun. so. Well, you have really made it nice and homey and pleasant in here. Well, thank you. The colors are great. It's and... what it's everything I love. It's homey and it makes me happy being in here. And, and it feels really open too. Like you know, you don't. I don't feel really closed in. Um, well, Bob, I wonder if it's because all the doors are open. <laughs> that helps a lot. Yes, yes. But you have a lot of windows and that I helps. Do, I do. I do. I do. And I made all the curtains. And all the, I have to say hello to my grandchildren. Right. Blynn, Gus, Liberty, Caden, Aniela, and Ayla, the loves of my life. Yes. How did you, did you do the build in here? It's uh, nice, really nice. Thank you. It's a no build build. I, nothing was built. No, no construction. None at all. None at all. The bed was, uh, it was the bench seat. Oh, it's still the bench seat. It's still the bench seat. I took a section out and I'll show you in the back. Um, and I had a, a four inch mattress topper. The bench seat was comfortable to begin with, and I put the mattress topper on. I have a thick um, mattress pad cover and sleeping bags, everything on here. It's cozy and it's comfortable. And so you have storage underneath. I do. It's a little bit, I think next year I'll have the this torn out though and have a regular um, wooden bed frame made because it's a little bit harder getting in and out of here because of all the, um, structure for yes. that because it's an automatic up and down so it's got all these gears and yes and you have a nice little cabinet area up little here. Tiny, cabinets. tiny cabinets they yeah. hold salt and pepper and yeah. <laughs> herbs and spices and uh oh this one has my little flashlight and some lights in it just stuff just stuff 
Yeah. And with over, your overhead in the back, does that hold as much back oh there? Oh my gosh, all my clothes fit back here. Wow, all, nice. And it goes all the way back, all of them. And this just looks like a piece of furniture that you brought in. This was uh, Blinn and Gus and Liberty's little toy box. Oh wow. When they were little and it had short legs on it. So I saw your videos where you had used PVC pipe and of course the one leg has longer mm -hmm. over there and this bench doesn't go it doesn't go anywhere it just stays and um i have all my food stored in here mm -hmm. yes and then these little cubes uh pots and pans and dishes there all right and so over here you just have a standard uh plastic shelf unit no it's actually metal yeah it was just one of the metal kitchen racks yes and i got the cubes some from yard sales it's wally stuff um yeah so i just have all my bathroom stuff in there and here's my junk drawer there's wally oh there's wally say yes. hi wally <laughs> that's bob you know bob you listen to bob for he a knows whole my year. voice <laughs> yes he does i'm she's probably mom we got to watch him again <laughs> and then of course i made the curtains see what they are New York State New York yeah of course and lined them so it would keep it warmer I made three panels and um yeah so that keeps it nice and cozy in here very nice and and a little privacy gotta have privacy at night well so, yeah, yeah yeah and then up here Bob this lots is all storage, storage back there, there. Yeah. I mean it's got just things that I don't use all the time that are stuffed in the back but and this is, this is a work. stool of for course. stools. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> right. A stool for stools. A stool for stools. Uh, what a clever uh, little thing you put over it. Well, I made the. Uh, you see, it's got. I think if you made a bunch of those, you could sell them. Was like crazy. I should make some and bring them next year. I'm serious. <laughs> I think I would. I would buy one. You would. Well, I'll make you one. You don't have to buy one. And you're getting by without solar. I am. I don't use a lot of power for anything. I, right. The only things I have to charge are my phone, naturally, the fans I can charge. Um, I've got a water pump. You'll see it in the back that needs to be charged. But other than that, I have my Lucy light. This is the solar light. This is really bright and it works really quite well. And then the van has the lights right you know i don't know if you can see them but sure. um yeah the lighting hasn't been a problem i don't know if i would need solar i did buy a blue Eddy. i have right. a blue Eddy to charge things and you charge while you drive and that, right that's met your needs mm -hmm. so. and that came with i bought it with the solar panel oh i see mm -hmm. the blue Eddy. so you set it out if you're not driving much right the solar panel mm -hmm. very good very good. Really, really nice. Just well, thank uh, very, you. very beautiful and very homey and welcoming. And you just want to come in. Well, you better write a plus on something <laughs> for me. Okay, I will. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my garage. Very good. And like I said, there was the bed actually came, had another section here that I took out because I'm like, that's taking up a lot of space that I could use for storage. Um, so I've got two five gallon water jugs. That right. black bucket right there is my shower bucket. I bought one of the um, shower hoses and pumps mm -hmm. off yeah. Amazon. Sure. And I, I've only used it once so far, but I put water in in the morning and then I set it up on top of the van. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> yes. war so it's warm enough. Yeah. And do you have a pop up uh, shower or just? I do. I do. It's underneath. Right. <laughs> yeah, just one of the away. basic. Right. Yes. You've done a fantastic job. Thank you so much. You really have. Thank I mean, you. It, you have uh, you've really invested nothing. You really haven't modified the vehicle. It's just no. really good. Well, thank you. Yes, other women can do it. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Right. And um, and I, I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> and I didn't want to invest a lot until I was sure. Right that I would like the lifestyle. Right. Now I'd feel comfortable spending a little more money and having a fan put in and possibly 
one solar panel or two, maybe I, but I'm not sure about that because I don't use much power. Well, Candy, thank you so much for sharing your home and your experience with us. It's fantastic job for minimal amount of work and, and money. I just really, uh, A++++. plus plus plus. Thank you, thank you. That makes me feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, so, the highlight of my travels. Oh, well, thank you. So folks, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now. Bye-bye.